Review time is the home for all things theme parks. Stay up to date with our content by subscribing and turning on notifications. Located on the Great Western Highway and just off the M7, Sydney Zoo is the latest addition to Sydney's attraction lineup. If founded just 20 years ago, it would have been competing with Australian Wildlife Park, part of Wonderland Sydney, which was previously just around the corner. But now Sydney Zoo aims to partially fill the gap that Wonderland and the Wildlife Park left behind. Joining a long list of well-established zoos and wildlife parks around the city, does Sydney Zoo make enough of an impact to carve a place in the industry, especially considering its distance from the CBD of Sydney? For review time, I'm Dominic, and this is our review of Sydney Zoo in Western Sydney. Attractions 7 out of 10 With the luxury of being designed from the ground up, Sydney Zoo offers an excellent variety of exhibits to experience the wonders of the animal kingdom. The brand new exhibits are brilliantly designed and curated with both the best interests of the guests and animals utilizing a cage-free philosophy and are located in such a way that you've always got an excellent view of the animals. The African section of the zoo is really where their thorough design shines, as it features an elevated platform that allows guests to view the exhibits of the African animals from a bird's eye view, allowing you to see all of the action at once. The intimate setting of the zoo means that there's rarely a time in which you're not surrounded by something different to keep you engaged. Even though the zoo does seem to have a rather small layout, we found ourselves surprised at how quickly the time was going whilst barely moving around. For the children, there is a dedicated play area and a children's petting zoo with farm animals, though it appears that the animals weren't out on the day we visited with no signs to suggest that the exhibit wasn't ready yet. Looking further into the future, Sydney Zoo would greatly benefit from a transport attraction to help pad out the day and allow for some well-needed rest from the constant walking, as currently there isn't really anything to segment exploring the exhibits. Experiences 5 out of 10 As you wander the zoo, you'll occasionally find yourself encountering keeper talks within the many exhibits. Whilst maintaining a rigid balance of entertainment and education catered at both children and adults, we found the only way to know when a talk was happening was to encounter it. While slated for the future, the zoo is yet to feature animal encounters in which guests can go face to face with the animals in their exhibits. Whilst this seems like a lost stream of revenue for the brand new zoo, it's understandable considering that many of the animals need to become familiar and trusting of the guests and staff before placing them around the public. Humans can be just as unpredictable as wild animals. With a lack of dedicated shows, Sydney Zoo is missing out on the opportunity to provide more substance to the day, and in the future, we'd love to see the zoo embrace entertainment further to turn it from a half-day attraction into a full-day one. Atmosphere 8 out of 10 Sydney Zoo can best be described as intimate. You're always surrounded by animals, and the layout provides very little empty space so that you're always kept engaged. The zoo doesn't necessarily feature any themed areas dedicated to the continents that it showcases, but it does embrace a modern aesthetic that is pleasing on the eyes and complements the brand new exhibits. The zoo will become even more visually appealing over the coming years as the newly planted trees and plants grow, further hiding backstage areas from the public view. Speakers around the zoo currently play comforting nature sounds but the zoo would benefit from curated music in sections such as the restaurants and cafes. Considering that it was opening weekend and the zoo was at capacity for the day, we never felt overwhelmed or crowded. The layout, wide paths, and well-designed exhibits means that you're not needing to push and shove to get a glimpse of the animals or move around. Affordability, seven out of 10. For a day out with the family, Sydney Zoo will set you back roughly 100 Australian dollars for two adults and two children. Whilst not competitively priced compared to other zoos in the city, it does make it one of the cheaper ones. We found food and beverage to be reasonably priced around the zoo, with merchandise also being rather affordable. Packed lunches do appear to be allowed in the park at this point, and there are many picnic areas in which you can sit down for a bite. For the quality of the zoo and the time in which we spent there, 
we found it to be great value for money and a perfect day out with the family. Services, eight out of 10. Sydney Zoo prides itself on being 100% accessible, making it an excellent option for people with disabilities. In addition to this, the zoo also provides an array of hiring options, from wheelchairs to electric scooters. We found the staff around the park to be engaged, helpful and professional, even when faced with rather difficult circumstances and guests. They made sure that the atmosphere of the opening weekend was one of excitement and not of stress. The keeper we encountered giving talks within the Australian section of the zoo radiated passion and was infectious with their dedication and respect to the animals. Unfortunately, as mentioned in the start of the review, the zoo is rather far from Sydney CBD. So for those without cars and relying on public transport, it may be a rather long round trip to get out there. When hungry, the zoo has strategically placed cafes and shops around the circuit, meaning that you're almost always in range of an opportunity to grab a feed or drink. Also, as we visited on the first weekend of operation, a few of the animals weren't in their new homes as yet. However, this is understandable for a brand new attraction and gives us a great reason to visit again in the near future. Sydney Zoo is an excellent new addition to Western Sydney, but the zoo definitely has a way to go before it really goes head to head with the more internationally focused attractions of the city. It's a great option for an exciting weekend trip, and we're curious to see how the zoo will develop and grow into the future. Whilst not coming close to filling the void that Wonderland left behind, it definitely does excel in where Australian Wildlife Park left off. Sydney Zoo's final score is 70 out of 100. For review time, I'm Dominic. Thanks for watching, liking, and subscribing.